Yo, Instagram, what's happening, baby? I can't wait to uh, get fired up here in uh, just about two minutes. We are going to be rock and rolling, talking about high performance. It'll be an Instagram and Facebook Live, and uh, we're talking fuel for success, high performance. Get ready to rock and roll. I'm going to be giving away some gifts, some goodies, all that good stuff. So uh, get ready. Buckle up. Here we go, baby. Woo! Man, I'm feeling good after that workout today. Feeling good, feeling good. Morning, morning, sunshines, or is it afternoon or evening? Depending on where you are around the globe, today is going to be special. We talking fuel for success, what it takes to live a life of high performance. And my friends, man, I've been scouring all of your comments, emails, Instagram, DMs. It all goes down in the DM. And uh, I have gotten so many questions about high performance in sport, in, in leadership, in business, in life, uh, in all aspects. I'm taking your top 10 questions. Your top 10 questions, I've written them down, and uh, man, we are going to be answering them. It's going to be rapid fire. Before I tell you what those questions are, a couple things, because I'm going to be giving away lots and lots of goodies today on this Facebook and Instagram Live. Buckle up, get your mind right, and here we go. By the way, here's the here are the great prizes. Number one, who wants it? Say yes. It's called the Wow Book. That's my latest book. This is promised to get your mind right. Say hashtag get your mind right. If you want the Wow Book, just put hashtag get your mind right or hashtag mind right maniac and you may get this book right here. I'll sign it for you. I'll personalize it and I'll say you who? Yeah, you know who it is. Yup, it's O Dark Thirty. It's 12 o'clock noon. <laughs> Boom. You'll get the impact body plan if you're like, hey, TD, share a little impact. Hashtag impact and tell me why you want the impact body plan. Still a bestseller. Still going strong on that stuff. But wait, wait, but wait. There's more. Next one. I've got, next one up, I've got the same shirt I'm wearing. Boom. I want to make some muscles. I want to see it. Live a life worth telling a story about. What's your story? Folks, if you want this shirt, oh, it smells good. Man, just tell me. Live a life we're telling a story about. Tell me why you want this great shirt. It's one of my favorites. I'm wearing it today on that. And what would a Facebook Live be without the old favorite, the Impact shirt? Yup, Impact shirt. Now, if I mail you this shirt, it's the wrong size. Then you can uh, you can uh, gain weight, lose weight, or give it away to someone that wants it more than you. Always a great gift, the Impact. But wait, they keep coming in from outer space. I'm like catching them like like a baseball player getting ready for spring training because it's getting ready for baseball season. And yes, the mind right maniac. Get your mind right. Yup, that's going away too. Unbel Wait a second. Wait, I high performance? Yeah, let's just keep them going. I know it's real cold back there. New Jersey, you were hitting me up earlier today. It's like 12 degrees. It's freezing. You got to wear the hoodie. Great hoodie time. Under Armour, you better believe it. Get your mind right. I'm seeing it come in. Bro, throw me that shirt. I, it's coming. Don't don't worry. But I better see these comments come in. You want the Mind Right Maniac Gray hoodie. You want the Live a Life Worth Telling a Story About shirt. The Impact shirt. One of the books. Or thank you to my friends over at California Almonds. I'll even feed you today. Yup. Feed me, please. Yeah. You want to be fed? I've got some food going out. Almonds, almond board. Thank you very much. This is going out as well. Tell me I'm hungry today and I want a healthy snack full of nutrition. Almond, mm, mm, mm. I'll be talking about all of this today. We are going to be fired up. Here's the 10 questions I'm going to be addressing as your comments come through about get your mind right, TD. I want this and why. I'm already seeing it. Wow, book, contagiasm, contagious enthusiasm, no match for Buffalo. <laughs> Tell me how cold it is in Buffalo. I want to freeze my butt up. It's a whopping freezing 48 degrees here this morning in San Diego. Man, butter, it's cold. Here's the 10 questions. Buckle up. Let me see the comments coming through. Peterson, what's up? These are the 10 questions I will ask rapid fire. Feel free to ask your own questions as well on the IG, on the FB, whatever's uh, fueling your fire today because that's what it's all about. Fuel your success, what it takes to be a high performer. The, these are your questions that I'm answering. It's going to be this. How do you get energy like that all the time, TD? Number two, how do you accomplish big things in your career regardless of what you do? I'll answer it. What do you specifically do to overcome setback or adversity when it strikes? Oh, I will be going deep on that one. What are your five must-do exercises? I'll share it. Can you, can you step me through your typical day? Yes, I can. I get distracted easily, Todd. What can I do to improve my focus? I'll answer it. If there were two or three books that I should read, what would they be? What would you recommend eating or snacking on between meals or before my workouts because I sometimes don't have the fuel that is necessary? I'll answer that one as well. And... What are your top five traits of the world-class athletes that you work with, top executives, and high performers? Those are the 10 questions. I'm going to rapid fire these bad boys off 
on that. So be ready to rock and roll. I want to see the comments streaming through in record-breaking fashion. Now, first, a couple announcements because, man, I am going all over the place these days. I was in San Francisco, Jersey. I'm getting ready to go over to the, yeah, Lover's Delight workout over in Big D, Dallas, Texas. Perform Better is coming up February 16th. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys over that way. If you want to go to Dallas, Texas, uh, my talk is on reinventing uh, your business, your brand, and yourself in 2019. If you already attended New Jersey or San Fran, give me a little love right here. Tell me what you thought of that talk and the, of course, workout as well. Um, I want to see you guys over there in Dallas as well. Uh, we've got a big event coming up in April. I would love for you to be at. It's in Irvine, California. It's the first time Succeed event. Succeed. Uh, it's a great event. I'm actually keynoting the whole thing. I'm kicking the, I'm kicking the whole thing off, guys. It's going to be crazy. I'm already getting ready for that bad boy now. It takes about 100 hours to prep for a keynote. Mark that, 100 hours to prep for a keynote. I'm already prepping for that bad boy. And these folks are doing some out of the box things that are gonna blow your mind away uh, at Succeed. So if you'd like to attend that, that's for Fit Pros. And of course, yes, I am doing all the rest of the tour for Perform Better. I'll be in Long Beach, I'll be in Providence, I'll be in uh, all the different cities that we're, we're gonna be around. And yes, Idea World, later on in June, I'll be there. I've got a a huge, huge schedule. Take a look at ToddDurkin.com for all my uh, places that I'll be uh, in the next several months. I am very, very busy, including my mastermind retreat in just three weeks, February 21st to 24th in warm, sunny San Diego where the highs are in the mid-60s. If you want to come out to that, uh, feel free. If you're in the mastermind, you know all about that. Um, hit me up. DM me, email me, whatever it is. I'm seeing all these, these questions. The Succeed Conference, Mark Peterson, uh, great question on that. I'll actually post later on. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing the keynote April 12th at Succeed in Irvine. I'll post all of the, com uh, in the comments here. Um, Succeed Conference, yes, it's in Irvine, Mark Peterson, Stort Nor. I'm not sure you're asking which, when, and what is. Idea is perform better or succeed, but it's April uh, the 12th, 13th. I got a workout I'm leading on the 13th as well. And and uh, I've been waiting, wanting to join the mastermind, Jonathan Burnett. Now would be a great time for a lot of reasons. Number one, you can come to San Diego and hang out with me for a few days in uh, late February where it's probably freezing uh, where you're at. Uh, but also, uh, my team and I are oh, just so committed uh, to business, leadership, marketing, personal growth, and of course, training in the trenches uh, on that stuff. Now is a great time uh, to hop in, get involved on that stuff. I want the gray hoodie. Kim, congratulations. Uh, I, I miss my home. No doubt about it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> a couple other questions that are coming through about my knee. Guys, I'm 85% back. I'm pain-free. As a matter of fact, good news to report today, the Mind Right Maniac series is starting all over again. Yup, Monday morning, 6 a.m. Monday, 6 a.m. Woo! -hoo! Get the little sleepies out of your eyes. It's coming back at you. Season number two of the Mind Right Maniacs coming at you. I'm going to give you some updates on my knee. I am feeling great. Uh, I'm doing things that I haven't done in years. And I'm again, I'm only 85%. So give me another month or two and I'll be completely back. And uh, I'll talk in depth about just what it feels like to have my physical health back. Even though spiritually and mentally, um, I've been at a high for several months now and really diving in personally. I share that in my Perform Better talk and reinventing your uh, business brand and self talk. It is great to be pain-free on that. And uh, how's that knee? Uh, and there's lots of reasons why I shared authentically on Facebook and Instagram life throughout on what I was eating, what I was supplementing with, my recovery, all the modalities. And you're going to see some fun things coming up Monday. If you're not signed up for that, go to doseofdurkin.com. Doseofdurkin.com. And Monday morning, 6 a.m. West Coast, 9 o'clock East Coast time, you'll be getting that. And we are back. We've got some great episodes coming. Uh, we've got some really cool things to announce in 2019. So let's talk high performance. That's the purpose of today's call. And uh, I want to see these comments coming through. Thank you, Matthew Smith. Great to see you in San Francisco as well. Um, always here on the Facebook and Instagram Live, Matthew. Keep it up in your athletic training career. You're doing great things. You truly are a fire-breathing dra dragon. So keep it up, Matt. Uh, when you integrate your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual self, you take all of those things and synergistically they work together so you can tap into your deepest gifts and maximize and optimize your full, true, divine purpose and potential. To me, that's high performance. And the next few minutes, that's what I want to help coach you to in your own life, in your own business, whatever it may be. And these are based on your questions. 
You know, what's it required to live at high performance? You talked about high performance. What does that take? You know, and again, keep these questions coming. Energy, focus, vision, leadership, and productivity. The end of the day, if where you're at here and you want to get to another level, I want to give you the steps, the ingredients that are necessary. Only you can make those decisions that are necessary if you're going to do that. And if you have the mental capacity to overcome the adversity that you may be facing in your life. And if you do, I believe that Mike Micro wins, micro wins day in and day out. When you dominate the day and you do that day after day and you suck it up and take head on the things that are scaring the heck out of you, then you're going to be A-OK -okay and you're going to be living that high performance lifestyle. So here we go with those 10 questions on what it takes. Number one, you guys ask this question. How do you get energy like that all the time? Todd, uh, answer, I don't have energy like this all of the time. Part of the key is having great energy most of the time. It's making sure you can turn it on when it's necessary. Because I'll be the first to admit, man, I really manage my energy. And I know when I have to be on and I know when I have to turn it off. And there's got to be a switch. Although I'm always positive, there's times when you're in the trenches, when you're on a, on a platform delivering a keynote to an organization, uh, when you're on a F Facebook Live, I'm giving it my all so that it could change your life. But when there's times early in the morning, it's quiet time. And it's journaling time, it's meditation time, and all those things that, uh, that really fuel you up. For me, sleep has become more and more important. Seven hours of uninterrupted sleep at night where I can really make sure I recuperate, rejuvenate all those things as well. Nutrition is absolutely essential. As a matter of fact, one of the questions, I'll share my actual routine for nutrition here in a moment of what I'm eating because eating really clean, it does play a factor in all of the, the different uh, firings, all your synapses, millions of them throughout the day on what you eat. Everything that you put in your mouth, there's a chemical reaction that happens. It's either it's good or it's bad. Right now, I'm having a little snack. It's snack time, almost lunch time. A little Ezekiel toast, a little almond butter, and a little raspberry on there. Never hurt anybody. So what you eat all the time throughout the day, every three to four hours, is absolutely critical on that. Your personal routine. Hey, I'm preaching to the choir here because all of you, I'll say most of you are working out right now. If you have a lower body injury, then work out your upper body. If you have an upper body injury, work out your lower body. My knee was never an excuse why I wouldn't work out. It was always, what am I going to do to make sure I get the medicinal effect of the exercise because endorphins are 10 times more powerful than morphine. Yup. So you got to get that medicine to get your mind right. The medicine is in training hard and eating right and getting in and reading great books and getting inspired to hang out with other thoroughbreds, other fire breathing dragons that will inspire you to be the man or the woman that you're designed to be. That's not easy. That's why you're here today is because, okay, you probably like me aspire to say, Hey, I want even more in life. I want to achieve even more success. When you dial in your personal routine, your best practices, and you eliminate what's holding you back, and you know, but it's scaring the gajibas out of you, then all of a sudden, like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna face my fear, now all of a sudden, you can manifest what you want to manifest in your life. Great question on the energy. The, the key is this, don't over-caffeinate, because that's manifested fake energy. You don't want to over-caffeinate. Caffeinate on good things. Now, you can have caffeine. I'm not opposed to caffeine. I like a little caffeine every now and then, but I don't drink coffee uh, because I don't want to like feel like coffee controls me, right? So you can have caffeine. I'm not saying, you know, you can't, but I'm not saying have 500 milligrams of caffeine every single day so you get all jacked up and it's, man, all of a sudden you're like, man, I'm, I'm feeling weak. So you got to manage your energy at all times on that. Number two, Great questions and comments. Keeping up. I'm seeing all these. I need the gray hoodie. I need the gray hoodie. It's cold back there. Yeah, I know. We got snow everywhere. Number two, how do you accomplish big things in your career? Oh, listen. <laughs> You're going to have to overcome some adversity, some setbacks, and some failures. Even I've had failures in my career. Some of you have, have known about them and some of you haven't. But that steadfast mindset of moving ahead every single day. Number one, you got to dream big. What is it you want for your life? And are you willing to sacrifice all that it's going to take, all the pain, all, this, all the focus and discipline? Are you willing to step into that? Dreaming big, planning. You all know I work on my annual roadmap and strategic plan. I shared it with you guys that I spend 15 to 20 hours working on that. But here's the thing. Even though the magic is sitting down and writing, the, the, the real magic in, in getting ahead is the action that it's going to take to make sure... Still got some almonds in the, my cheek here. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> a little had to have a little time out there. Um, that's good. That's good. Say good. 
uh, uh, working on your business is very important. You always say, hey, if you want to make more money and you're a trainer, you're a coach, you're an attorney, uh, you're a doctor, you got you to grind, right? It's going to take, yesterday I worked, I left my gym here at 8 p.m. I was here at 7 a.m. That's a 13-hour day. It's not every day that I'm grinding like that. Some days you got to grind, but other days you got to step back and work on your dream and on your life and on your vision. So what are those? What are you doing in the other eight hours? That's a that's a book, by the way. The other eight hours. The other eight hours when you're not sleeping and you're not working. Eight hours. And if you have kids like I do, and you run them all over the place, like my wife Melly and I do all the time, you probably got maybe one to three hours a day to actually have real productivity times, right? Well. It's up to you. If you're going to watch uh, reruns of Strong, then good. Joking. But like, if you're going to watch TV and, and, and play, what are those things those kids play? Uh, yeah, Fortnite. Kids, you better not be watching this right now. Watch it on the, on the, uh, the IG later on. But uh, you got to give up good to get to great. And that's not a mistake. So, And another thing, if you want to be great and you want to get to the next level in your career, simple. Be good to people. Don't screw people. Be good to people. Truly care about people, right? It's a small world we live in, so be great to people and care and go above and beyond uh, to really care for people and take care of people because that's going to manifest into getting to another place in your career as well. Number three, oh, this is going to hurt to share this. Ugh. What do you specifically do to overcome setback or adversity when it strikes? Well, I can't stop thinking when I got this question about just last weekend on Sunday and my New Orleans Saints took it on the chin. And I even had a comment like, hey, TD, you've been a little quiet since the loss. And you know what? I have been. You know why? Because none of us like setback. And sometimes, you know, it's one thing to lose. It's another thing how you lose, right? And um, I'm going to tell you just the mindset that I went in. And that's, you know, that's the guys like Drew and the Saints and the, 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 the Chiefs. Those guys actually played the game. I, I gave myself one day to feel sorry that, you know, for myself and everything else of, man, I feel depressed, I feel down, I feel like, man, all the hard work for 10 months um, and, and it ends like that. It's easy to live in the, in the head chatter that goes on. I said to myself, get your mind right, Y-O, get your mind right. That was the affirmation I had for me over and over and over again, and I continued to snap my band. I literally snapped two bands, broke them. I broke my own bands, snapping them next morning because I couldn't get out of it and that. So if you're facing adversity or setback today, permit yourself, I don't know, an hour, a day, but not too long to go on living in an abyss of depression or negativity, um, uh, downtrodden, whatever it is. You can feel sorry for yourself for a short while, but then you better get your mind right yourself and you got to say, you know what? I'm going to own this. I'm going to take control of the, the circumstances that are in my life and I am going to circumnavigate, and I, anything not happening to me, it's for me. Remember, things that happen, it's not to me, it's for me. So if you're going through a tough time right now, and we got a lot of people on Facebook and Instagram listening in right now, if perhaps you're going through a difficult time right now, and you're like, hey, God, why me? Hey, why not me? Why not me? I'm going to use this as a, as a vehicle to somehow catapult me to a next level. That takes mental fortitude and toughness. That takes discipline. That takes focus. But if you're going to sit and you're going to drink or you're going to smoke, you're going to hang with the wrong people, you're going to be uh, lazy and you're not going to work out, then you're not going to get to the next level. So just a voice of encouragement today on this Thursday afternoon for you. Whatever you're facing, man, go after and get it. And then say to yourself what I say every single day, next, next, next. That's the voice you say to yourself next so that you can get to that next level and get over whatever you're facing. And you're going to have to sometimes face tough times. You're going to be in the valley of, of depression so that you can get to the mountaintop. And when you get to that mountaintop, then you enjoy yourself. And lastly, something I reminded myself on Sunday night when my kids were upset because the Saints lost. Hey, listen, the sun's coming up tomorrow. Remind yourself this. If you're down right now, just remind yourself the sun's coming up tomorrow. I'm going to fight. I'm going to keep getting up one step at a time. I'm going to fight. Um, I've got several clients here that recently lost parents. Um, it's tough. That's tough losing anybody. When you lose a, a, a mom or a dad, um, man, you just got to keep fighting and remembering who you are and the tough net that, that sits inside of you on that. Number four, your top five must-do exercises for your clients. Here we go, rapid fire. Uh, and, and I love the questions coming through. Keep them coming. Top five exercises. I have a lot of favorite exercises. I often think this, push, pull, 
hip hinge, squat, and core. That's how I think about it. Now, depending on uh, the flavor of the month, it depends on what are my favorite exercise at that time. Right now, I'm loving kettlebell swings. It, I feel great. I can activate my glutes. I can get my legs involved. It's not deep squatting on my knees. I'm still in rehab and physical therapy with my man Martin over there, who I'll be seeing uh, later tomorrow on that. Uh, I, love kettle, I love kettlebell swings. I love TRX rows. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, 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 a challenge tomorrow on Facebook Live. Check it out at uh, 11 o'clock West Coast time just so that you have something to work on over the weekend. I'll give you one of my favorites. Uh, so I've got kettlebell swings, TRX rows, arm farm. I'm counting that as one exercise. Tries and buys. Why not? Just because we can. You hit the buys, hit the tries. You get a little chain curls, perform better. You know what I'm talking about. Um, swings, push-ups. Uh, I love push-ups, push body weight. It, 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 anyone could do it. And that's the fourth. And the last one, Meditation? What? Yeah, TD, you cray cray. Yup. Yeah. Hey, listen, if you want to get to the next level in your life, you want to be a high performer, spend three minutes. Three minutes in meditation. Five minutes. Oh, get crazy. Go 15. I might even do a little audio meditation for y'all if you like that. Give me a little, hey, T, have a little audio meditation. I can promise you, I won't be spitting and screaming into your phone. There's another yin side that I often go into, that soft side where the affirmation, the voice in your head, when you think about that, meditation is the key that will transform your soul. Inspiration means in spirit. Inspiration means in spirit. How do you get more in spirit? You tap into that voice inside of you. You tap into those whispers and you have the fortitude, the mental aptitude, the strength to say, you know what? Enough's enough. Today's my day. I'm getting after it and I'm doing this. So one of my top five exercises, as I'm sharing it with you right now, is meditation. That will help you get your mind right, help you get your spirit right as well. Number five, can you step me through a typical day, including what you eat? All right. Yes. Uh, I told you I sleep seven hours. So uh, typically I'm getting up uh, five o'clock. I don't set an alarm clock. I get up when my body wants to get up. Typically five, sometimes 450, five, five, 10. But my body knows I got to beat the sun up though. I want to beat the sun up every single day. If the sun gets to jump on me, man, that's not good because now the sun's beating me up and I'm, I'm, I'm behind. I got to beat the sun up. Um, let me tell you about uh, what, what happens here in, in my nutrition program because I've shared with you before, but a few important things as I, as I get ready for my, my quiet time and my workout, I, between 5 and 7 a.m. is my holy hour. That's my time. I'm selfish with that time. That time is for me. Uh, my kids aren't uh, moving quite yet. My, my wife's not up. That's when I'm getting in my home gym typically uh, most days of the week and I'm moving. Then I come in and I eat. And I, when I eat, this is what I typically eat. It's a half scoop of oatmeal. It's oatmeal. It's some fruit and it's slivered almonds. I've been eating almonds forever. Uh, it's slivered almonds, and uh, that's what I do. Why? Because they're nutritious. Six grams protein, four grams of fiber. The, the additional fruit is gonna allow me to get some fiber. It's very nutritious. There's full of antioxidants in the fruit. Between the oatmeal, the fruit, and the slivered almonds, it's crunchy. Crunchy's good on that. I also have three eggs. Ketchup on the eggs with the smiley face. It has to happen. East Coasters, Jersey, can I get a shout out again for the ketchup on the eggs thing? And I always, this is a snack. I have it as part of breakfast. I always have about 12 to 15 ounces of almond milk. I have one scoop of protein in there as well. And uh, that helps give me additional protein. So between... The oatmeal with the fruit and the slivered almonds along with the eggs and that. You might think, oh my gosh, Todd, that's a lot of food. Yes, it is because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Eat like a king at night and a popper. No, <laughs> eat like a king in the morning and a popper at night. Most of you eat like a popper in the morning and a king at night. Eat like a king in the morning, baby, and watch what happens. So, yeah, slivered almonds are the bomb on salad. Kim, that's coming up next because I have that as part of my lunch time. Snack, it's typically a snack. Take a look. I did this just for y'all. Can you see this? Ch take a look. This is a snack. Now, this isn't, I don't always have it like on a slate, but I do have a little bit of, again, Ezekiel toast almond butter and a little raspberry. This is healthy on that. So as I'm uh, having that all over the place, mm, I'll get the almond butter off. I also have almonds. 
all the time. When I travel, I like to spew my almonds on the person next to me. And they're like, it's a great way to start a conversation. So you're like, how many almonds should I eat? Because I like almonds, right, Kim? So what you do is you take a handful of almonds. Now, a handful of almonds is typically, I've counted, literally, I have counted, because one ounce of almonds, point, point, pay attention, put your little spinner hats on, okay? That right there, you can't probably see it. 23 almonds, one ounce, okay, is 23 almonds. And one ounce of almonds, okay, six grams of protein. Again, four grams of fiber. You got riboflavin, uh, niacin, uh, magnesium, great source in the almonds. That's why I eat almonds literally throughout the day. I've got a handful of almonds. I got almond butter. I got almond, uh, almond, almond uh, milk. All of those things in there as part of my snacks. Then at lunch time, yes, I do typically one of two things on that. Lunch is either a salad, yes, Kim, with slivered almonds on it, along with some fruit, and I like to add either chicken or even sa uh, tuna salad. Now, when I might make my tuna salad, I like carrots. Anyone else like carrots in their tuna salad? I like carrots. Um, I like spicy mustard. This is like an East Coast thing, I think. But, you know, now being the West Coast, I'm trying to change from the West Coast. We got spicy mustard and, yes, of course, some slivered almonds in the, uh, in the tuna salad. Put that on some Ezekiel toast if you want to get cray-cray on that. And uh, boom, you got a great lunch there. So you could have a salad, a chicken bowl, or rice. Uh, that's what I typically do for my lunches. And again, remember the one, two, three method. Uh, if you can't remember, uh, one ounce of almonds is twenty. Uh, one ounce of almonds is twenty-three almonds. Very simple to remember. It's a great, healthy, nutritious snack. Dinner time. I'm so lucky, y'all. I have a great wife who loves to cook. She's in the industry as well. She's she's very, very health conscious fitness conscious. So typically when I get home around 6.30, 7 o'clock, we have a great meal. Uh, that's one of the rules of my life. I want to have dinner with the kids when I'm not traveling. And um, she makes an array of different uh, foods. But a couple of things I'll offer up uh, today for you. Number one, again, you can never go wrong with a salad if you're on the road or you're at home. I just shared the salad I'll do at lunch. If I'm on the road, I try to have one salad a day and um, I'll add the chicken in there. But check this out. I'm going to give you a recipe. Maybe for tonight, Thursday night, great meal. Maybe for tomorrow. Or if you want to impress someone special, you can make this right here. Almond crusted halibut. I love halibut. Halibut is awesome. As a matter of fact, a five and a half ounce of halibut is about 35 grams of protein. What? 35 grams of protein? Yes. And imagine this. If you crust it with the little almonds, that's about 42 grams of protein that you're getting if you have 23 almonds in there. But crust it on up, you get protein. Again, you're getting all the niacin, the riboflavin on that. Have some greens with it. I love spinach. I love green beans. Um, spinach is always good. Great source of iron. Uh, great source of uh, just vitamin B6 and B12 as well. So those are some dinner options. And by the way, I used to love dessert. I thought I deserved dessert. You don't deserve dessert every day of the week, and that includes wine, that includes sweets and sugars. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm fasting sugar right now, uh, not having any sugar. But if you crave sugar, what I found is when I amp up my protein, that helps me satiate my appetite and craving for sugar. So most days of the week, if I have a sugar craving, that's when I go back to, again, my shake. I go back to the protein shake. One scoop of protein along with about 12 to 15 ounces of some almond milk. Um, I typically stick to almond milk. I put almond milk on my cereal. If I was to ever have cereal, um, I don't have that very much, but I have it in my oatmeal. Um, I have it in my protein shakes as well. So it gives you a little idea as far as that. That's a long-winded answer, but that's what I do. Uh, number six on this, I get distracted easily. <laughs> Pay attention, pay attention, alert, red alert, red alert, because right now you're doing 50 things. No, 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 no. Right now you're watching TD on Facebook and Instagram Live. So what are we doing? How do I improve my focus? Pay attention. This is deep. You have to know when your peak productivity cycles are. Ooh, when do you work best? Is it early in the morning? Is it mid-morning? Is it late in the afternoon? Or is it late at night? Know when your peak productivity cycles are and spend more time doing your work during that time. Like I know that I, excuse me, I write, I write really good in like the mid morning time, nine to 11. I'm creative. 
Also, I'm creative early afternoons after I fuel myself out back with a lunch and late at night between 9 and 11, uh, it's getting close to bedtime, I like to write on that. Those are my times where I can crank out some serious work, whether it's a blog, whether I'm working on a book project uh, on that, or whatever I might be working on. Find your productivity cycles that work well for you and then chunk your time. I encourage you to turn off your phones when you're trying to work on your most important projects. Turn off your phone. Turn off everything so you can uber focus. If you want to work with music, that's your prerogative, but it's important that you turn off your phone and you chunk your time. I work in 90 minute increments. I'm giving you peak productivity tips right now that are really important. 90 minute increments, I do that, I'll take a 15 minute break and I'll come back in. If I can get two 90 minute productivity cycles in there, man, I am golden, I'm gonna make it this day a great, great day. I already got one in today before this Facebook and Instagram Live, I'll get another one later today. If I can get two different cycles in, okay, so two 90 minutes in the morning and two in the afternoon, that's four. That's some serious work and that accounts for several hours most days of the week. If you win most days of the week, it's small micro wins over time that allow you to get these big successes. So the big successes that some of us have achieved, it's really just focusing in on the micro focus that you have to have every single day on that. Number seven, of 10. If there's two or three books to help me succeed more, Todd, what would they be? Great question. Keep the questions coming. I'm really enjoying this today. Thank you very much. This is great. Team Parsons over in Australia, thank you for being here. I love, I love, I love, I love, can I repeat it enough? I love when I see Team Parsons smashing calories from Australia on these shows. Let me know, by the way, I'd love to know this, uh, where you are listening in from today. Uh, please post your city, your state, and if you're in, from a different country outside of the U.S., post that. I want to I wanna see where these mind right maniac, fire-breathing dragon fans are all tuning in from, so please do that. And don't forget, please like this right now if you're enjoying this uh, Facebook Live, and I'm going to give away an additional prize for anyone that shares this. I'm going to choose the most inspirational share that you share with your community on Facebook. Facebook. Sorry, Instagram. I love you guys, but you got to share this on Facebook and do that. Kim, I'm loving. You guys are actually uh, typing in some of your own favorite uh, uh, recipes here as well. So fantastic. I like seeing that. Also, I'm loving seeing the hearts and the likes, the thumbs up. Keep that coming. Uh, Planet Greatness. I like that right there. No, uh, so the books. In no specific order, here are some of my favorites. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have my team. I'll share. I recently wrote a blog uh, 119 ways to achieve success in 2019. And one of the questions I shared, my top 10 books in there, I'll post this and pin this on this Facebook Live. I'm gonna say The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. It's deep, it's great, I love it. The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari, Robin Sharma, I love it. Um, spiritual Wisdom Motivation book. Uh, Hard Hat, John Gordon. John Gordon's one of my favorite authors. He's a great man, I love what he's doing. John Gordon, keep up the great stuff. If you're a John Gordon fan, give me a thumbs up, JG. Uh, is the man. Start with why, Simon Sinek. Start with your why. If I had a great conversation with a young man last night who was struggling with his purpose in his life. Start with the why, Simon Sinek. If at any chance right now you're like, man, I, I like what I do, I'm happy with what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm struggling with my why, then get Simon Sinek. Start with the why. Why? Because then you can deepen your own purpose. Ultimately, you have to tap into those whispers and you have to uh, realize what are the gifts and are you willing to to go through what you have to to uh, to get them out and share with the world. I love, look, I'm giving you like my 10. I love uh, Stuart Scott's Every Day I Fight. Stuart Scott succumbed to cancer, but cancer did not beat him. What he shared in Every Day I Fight, um, I just gleaned the, the mindset of what it's take. Now, let, let me come a little closer to you. Let me whisper something to you. I believe some of us do our best work when we've got adversity staring us smack in the face. Let me repeat. I believe that some of us do our best work when we have adversity staring at us smack in the face and it's you and just adversity and that's it. We all want sometimes a, uh, things to go smoother and we don't want to face adversity, but you know that life and, and, the, and the gems were often coming from the friction in our lives. If by chance you're facing any adversity, challenge, strife, setbacks right now, realize this, there is opportunity within that if you embrace it. Don't just fight it, embrace it, learn from it. And sometimes you do gotta smack it in the face and punch fear away if it's robbing you. But if you have any adversity, know that whatever it is, 
uh, you can get there. And again, another great book, Victor Frankl, uh, Man's uh, Search for Meaning. I love that book right there. Uh, great book. Last three, baby. Keep them coming. Keep these comments uh, on this. Gosh, these are good questions. Mark Hill, if you catch a cold, I'm going to answer all these at the end because you guys are awesome. I'm loving the questions. Keep your questions coming. What are your top three podcasts that you're listening uh, to during the week? Uh, Entree Leadership, Dave Ramsey. I listen to that all the time. I love that. Um, TD Jakes, Pastor TD Jakes. Love Pastor TD uh, on that. The other TD. Uh, Joel Osteen, love that. I uh, listen to that uh, once a week, typically on Mondays. John Maxwell, I love leadership. So between the Entree Leadership and John Maxwell Leadership, those are two on leadership, two on spirituality. I got my man Pastor David Jeremiah um, and also uh, Pastor Miles McPherson. I got a lot, a lot of divine things coming in because that helps me in my spirit uh, realize hey am I listening to other people's what what they want what does God want for me and if I can really listen to my own self and what that spirit is telling me then I could be obedient to what I'm supposed to be doing also if you haven't had a chance listen to my man Steve Weatherford the Steve Weatherford show Steve interviewed interviewed me uh, a couple weeks ago I shared that on the dose of Durkin uh, last Monday on that and uh, Steve who's an NFL vet he's actually keynoting at my uh, mastermind retreat here February 22nd um, it's gonna be awesome uh, he's a great inter a great interview on that again I'll post the Steve Weatherford show or just go over to the Steve Weatherford show uh, take a look at that and listen in again getting getting motivation and inspiration every day is something like you got to shower or brushing your teeth you got to do it every day uh, just hop it on in number nine of ten what would you recommend eating snacking on between meals or before work workouts to make sure I'm fueled up properly. This is a big one, uh, guys and gals, because I, so many people, whether we've got a class going on at Fitness Quest 10 right behind me here, and also I work with uh, uh, the high school kids. We've got 70, 80 kids, and they often do not eat the way they should. What I'm always talking about is you got to fuel up about an hour to an hour and a half before your workout, and you have this window after your workout that you want to make sure you refuel your system for what it is that you have that you need as well. So typically pre-workout food wise, I'm talking food wise, for me it's got to be some form of like a fruit so I can get some some sugar in me that way, some like fructose sugar, fruit sugar. So I like apples, I like a crisp apple. If I need a little bit more hearty, I'll put some almond butter on it. I always have my almond butter around uh, on this. I literally have like a, a, a cabinet full of, of protein, almond butter. I've got my, my uh, my my almonds here. Uh, I've always have snacks here uh, around, but before that workout, for me, I like 90 minutes before. I'll have some fruit, some almonds, or if it's quick and I'm on the road, I'll have that shake again. Um, ideally, it's almond milk, but if not, you could always uh, just use water and then uh, shake up your protein in there on that. In an ideal world, if I'm at home or I'm here at Fitness Quest 10, I like a little bit hardier to give me that, that fuel, right? Fueled for success so I could fuel up. After that workout, to me, you have a 30-minute window. It's what I do with all my athletes is that the 30-minute window there is um – you want to then put in some carbs as well as some proteins because you just broke down protein. So if you use amino acids, uh, you can certainly uh, do that. But to me, it's now two scoops of protein, two scoops of protein along with ideally almond milk again. Um, if you can blend it up, blend it up. If not, have a shaker bottle. Shake that bad boy up, boom, down the hatch, and then it's starting to refuel you as well. If you want to put in some uh, bananas and, and, uh, and some ice, Blend it on up. It makes for a great shake. So if you have the almond butter, I typically like chocolate almond milk. Uh, I like the unsweetened chocolate almond milk with my one scoop or two scoops of, of protein. About I'm a little anal, six ice cubes, and uh, again, almond butter on that, and then uh, do that, and you're gonna be uh, well-fueled. So you can see where I'm coming from. My last one, what are the top five traits of your pro athletes, executives, and high performers? Um, and what do they share in, in common? Guys, uh, number one, they compartmentalize really well. They compartmentalize. When it's time to train, they train. When it's time to go into business and work business or, 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 or family, they can compartmentalize. Drew Brees is the best person I know at compartmentalizing life. Um, on that. So uh, focus. If you want to be a high performer, it takes uber focus. I talked about what that means and how you do that, specifically how you do that. And it takes discipline to turn off your phone and not to go on Instagram and, and to respond to all that. Um, but if you really want to make some headway and to focus on the things that you most need to focus on, that's great. Attention to detail. Attention to detail is to master all of the details, the little things that it takes. Like you'd say, you know, don't sweat the details. I'd say sweat 
sweat the details, sweat the small stuff um, on that, and then execute. The end of the day, it comes down to the best and the best business business leaders, executives, entrepreneurs, coaches, trainers, athletes. You got to take action. If you say you want to be great, then you have to take the action necessary to execute the game plan so that you can get as close as you can to uh, playing at the level that you uh, deserve. Mentally tough. The top Athletes are mentally tough. They can overcome adversity. They can overcome setback. They get back on the horse after getting kicked down and get back up and keep doing it again and again. The best of the best high performers are process-based, not just product-based. Fall in love with the process. I was talking to my middle school kids to, uh, yesterday about falling in love with practice. Practice. Yeah, we talking practice. So, can anyone give me who that was, by the way? I want to see if you know who that was. Practice. We talking Practice. <laughs> so fall in love with the practice of doing your work when you're supposed to do your work, falling in love with the, the routine of actually enjoying your workouts. And then lastly, just desiring to the desire to get better, like that continual desire to improve. It's a mindset of growth. Thank you, Carol Dweck in mindset. It's a growth mindset of every single day we're working on ourselves to become uh, better and better and better. All of those things. Yes, Coach Wolf Kevin Burns is the man who taught me about maniacal focus and practice. The five P's to practice, okay? Perfect practice produces peak performance. Those are the five P's. Thank you, Coach Wolf. Perfect practice produces peak performance. Run it again. I hear it in my head. Run it again. Run it again. High performers often don't do well and they struggle with is how to turn it off. So I'm going to encourage you how to sometimes turn it off is you just got to make that, you got to flip that switch. You literally have to flip that switch of when you need to turn it off and say, hey, I'm going to work. I'm going to work maniacally. Success often never, it, it, it rarely comes as fast as you want it to come. But realize it's a string of small wins. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, over and over and over again. So guys, those are the 10 questions. I'm gonna answer a few of your questions right now and then I'm gonna give away, uh, tomorrow I'll post on the Facebook, uh, all of the folks that have uh, won one of these great prizes. If you put in hashtag mind right maniac, hashtag get your mind right, I am a fire breathing dragon, hashtag contagiasm. Hey TD, you give me any inspirational things, we're gonna post winners on that, including the gray hoodie, including uh, the almonds. Yep, I got that. Thank you California Almond Board for sending these over to me. I'm loving the thank yous. I'm loving the uh, thumbs up, and uh, I want you to share as well. So I love you too. Uh, thank you so much. It's not specific. It's uh, practice, practice, practice. Uh, no doubt. It's practice. No doubt. Let's go to some questions. Kayla, we got a lot of questions. We got a lot of comments. Uh, shoot some of the top questions we've commented. Roll up the sleeves, baby. I'm going to give you like six minutes. That's it of, of, of questions. Here we go. Rock and roll, Pond. What do we got? Are you coming to D.C. this year? D.C. I want to come to D.C. I love D.C. Matter of fact, I might need to go to the White House and talk to a few people over there about leadership and what we're going to do. I might, I might run for president next time. If you want me to run for president, let me know. I'll run for president. Uh, I'm thinking about it. It's been you know, sitting on me for a few years now. Um, I talk about high performance. Man, I'll leave. Ooh, we're getting out. See, that's dreaming big, baby. Am I going to act, take action on that? Uh, I have no plans to come directly to D.C. If you'd like me to come to D.C. or your organization, uh, hit me up. Email me. DM me. Let me know whether it's uh, for a conference, whether you want me to keynote. Um, I'm very, very busy, but uh, I love coming back to the Washington, D.C. area. Next question. How do you feel about intermittent fasting? I love intermittent fasting. Uh, I do it fasted cardio in the morning. I use it three, four days a week, intermittent fasting. Um, I don't do it all the time. It's, it's rather challenging uh, to do that, but uh, three, four days a week, I do that fasted cardio most days of the week. Uh, great question on that. Next, TD for press. Yes. Have you ever had a client that you could not help? Yes, I fired two clients in my life. Uh, ever The question is, ever fired a client or I couldn't help? I fired two clients. They weren't the right fit for me. Um, I want someone that wants to work. I want someone that's going to show up, be on time. Wants they 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 might be struggling with life, but they 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 need a swift kick in the butt, and they want to they want to do things the right way. So, um, yeah. And sometimes I just got to refer them out to other people, or give them to a green trainer at Fitness Quest Ten, and say, here, here's a great way to learn how to coach. Let's go, baby. Here you go. Next question. Your favorite fun foods and the last time you had them. Favorite fun foods Sunday night after the game. That was a. That, I needed a little pizza. That was my fun food. Cheat day. All right. Uh, pizza is my, my weakness. 
on that. So I try not to eat a lot of pizza, okay? That would be my fun food. Next question. How do you get people to give more energy in a workout? How do you, how do you what? How do you get people to give more energy in a workout? Fire them up, get in their soul, man. You wanna get people fired up, you get inside of them and you, you stoke it. Everybody, everybody wants great energy. So you gotta give great energy, get great energy. How do you give it? You gotta, you gotta get it, you gotta be that lighthouse. So uh, man, you gotta bring the heat every time, bring that heat on that. So when's he coming to Michigan, I see. Uh, I don't know, I'm talking to my friend Trina Gray right now about Michigan. Man, look at all these comments coming through. Here's what I'm gonna do because we've got so many great uh, questions. Mark Peterson, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, Aussie in the house. Mind right maniac push up. Yes, I'll be Facebook Live tomorrow, 11 o'clock. I'll be issuing a Facebook workout challenge. Uh, I want that Under Armour uh, gray hoodie. Ben Boudreau, Mind Right Maniac hoodie. Come on with it. I want the almonds. Uh, Houston. Hey, Houston, not far from Dallas. I'll be in Dallas. Lover's Delight workout. Big D, right after Valentine's Day, Saturday, February 16th. Perform better. Reinventing your brand, business, and self. 75-minute um, uh, keynote I'll be delivering and a workout. Bring your friends, bring your clients, your members, uh, whatever you want. Uh, meet me in there. Minus 36, wind chill in Vermont. Mark Peterson, come to San Diego. Is it really minus 36? Buckle up. Man, find some comfort foods. Don't eat the garbage. Find some good foods. And uh, man, get working out. I love it. Yeah, now we're seeing people post their temperatures on that. How about the gray hoodie, TD? Yeah, that'll get your mind right. I have my gray hoodie on all week trying to get that mind right. 10 in, 10 out. Yeah, you want a 10 out of life? You got to put a 10 into life. Why not perform better in LA? Oh gosh, do I really have to answer this? Why not perform better in LA? Let me tell you why, Stort. Because when I was asked to do Perform Better in LA a couple months ago, I looked at the calendar and I said, well, that's the Super Bowl. And I know that one of my teams is gonna be in the Super Bowl. I had faith that one of my teams was gonna be in the Super Bowl. Well, after last week's debacle by the, well, I won't even say why and how it happened, but I will not be at the Super Bowl. So instead, I'll be with my kids and my family. So have a great time at Perform Better at Los Angeles. Uh, I had plans to go to the Super Bowl um, on that stuff. So you just got to sometimes roll the dice. And I took a chance and I was this close. I was one PI pass interference away from uh, getting to the Super Bowl, going to Atlanta. But uh, hey, you can never uh, take away the family time as well. So that's why I'm not going to be at Perform Better store. <laughs> Thanks for asking as well. Gretchen, what's up? Always great to see you. Succeed Conference. Yes, Mark Peterson, take a look. Again, I'm going to pin all of the information on that um, uh, coming on up here real soon. Um, mastermind, best decision I ever made. Adrian Parsons, thank you so much. Uh, guys, we take a lot of pride in, in the Todd Durkin Mastermind Group. Uh, any coach, trainer that wants to get to the next level in, in the training career, in, in life, uh, I always take pride in uh, delivering great value in there. So thank you very much for those comments in there. We've got some good things coming out here in 2019. Uh, man, look at these questions. I'm going to go through all of these questions, all of these comments. And again, those of you that are hitting the hashtag MindRightManiac, uh, or anything motivational, please share this post, and I will uh, I will get to, I will pick five high performers or high performance uh, comments and let you know tomorrow after the Facebook Live workout challenge I'll be doing. But on behalf of all of you, mind right maniac, crazy awesome people, I want to thank you for being here today. Thank you for what you do. Go out and infiltrate the universe with positivity. Instagram, keep doing your thing. Facebook, love you guys. Uh, man, I can't wait to connect with you guys real soon. Peace, God bless. Get your mind right.